Have you ever wondered about the stories hidden in the sands of Africa, the tales of the lost kingdoms that once thrived on this continent? These are stories of ancient civilizations, of empires that rose and fell, of cultures that have shaped the world as we know it today. Africa, a cradle of civilization, has a history that stretches back further than any other continent. Long before the European colonization, Africa was home to some of the world's most powerful kingdoms and empires. From the vast Sahara in the north to the verdant plains of the south, from the fertile Nile Valley in the east to the rich gold mines of the west, Africa was a land of prosperity, culture, and advanced civilizations. Among these, some kingdoms stand out for their remarkable achievements. The Kingdom of Kush in today's Sudan was an ancient superpower that ruled for over a thousand years. Its capital, Meroe, was a vibrant metropolis adorned with pyramids and palaces, a testament to its wealth and sophistication. Further west, the Kingdom of Mali was an economic and cultural center that attracted scholars from across the Islamic world. Its ruler, Mansa Musa, is considered one of the wealthiest individuals in human history, his wealth built on Mali's abundant gold mines. And let's not forget the Kingdom of Zimbabwe in southern Africa, known for its massive stone structures, the most famous being the Great Zimbabwe. The architectural prowess of the Shona people who built these structures is a testament to the kingdom's advanced civilization. These are just a few of the forgotten kingdoms of Africa. Their stories are filled with intrigue, grandeur, and a testament to human resilience. But as with all kingdoms, they had their rise and their fall, their golden age, and their downfall. Their legacy, however, continues to shape the world today. So buckle up as we embark on a journey back in time to uncover the rise and fall of these mighty African kingdoms. The dawn of these remarkable kingdoms dates back thousands of years. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the kingdoms of Africa emerged, each with its unique charm and power, each with a story to tell. Let's embark on a journey through time, starting with the grandeur of ancient Egypt. An architectural marvel, Egypt was blessed with the mighty Nile which played a pivotal role in its rise. The river's waters nourished the lands, allowing agriculture to flourish. The construction of the pyramids, magnificent testaments of human ingenuity, marked Egypt as a powerhouse of the ancient world. Next, we find ourselves in the mighty city-state of Carthage. Located on the coast of modern-day Tunisia, Carthage was a beacon of prosperity. Its strategic location on the Mediterranean Sea opened doors to extensive trade networks, propelling it to become a dominant force in the Western Mediterranean. Our journey continues to Aksum in present-day Ethiopia. Aksum was once the hub of the maritime trading network connecting Africa and India. Gold, ivory and exotic animals were traded, fueling Aksum's rise to power. As we move westward we encounter the prosperous Kingdom of Mali, Famous for its wealth in gold, Mali was a key player in trans-Saharan trade. Its famous ruler, Mansa Musa, was known for his extraordinary wealth and his pilgrimage to Mecca. Further west, we find the Songhai Empire. Songhai thrived on trade, agriculture and fishing. Its capital, Gao, was a bustling city and a center of Islamic learning. Finally, we reach the Kingdom of Zimbabwe in southern Africa. Known for its stone architecture, Zimbabwe was a center of trade and mining, the kingdom's wealth was drawn from its vast gold and copper mines. These kingdoms, each unique and powerful in its own way, rose to prominence, shaping the course of African history. Their rise was fueled by trade, natural resources, and strategic locations. Each kingdom, with its unique blend of culture, power, and wealth, left an indelible mark on the annals of history. At their peak, these kingdoms were centers of wealth, knowledge, and power. In their golden age, the lost kingdoms of Africa were a beacon of human achievement and progress. Their accomplishments in various fields were remarkable, and they were revered for their prosperity and influence. Let's start with their architectural prowess. The pyramids of Egypt are a testament to their remarkable engineering skills. These ancient structures built with precision and purpose continue to puzzle modern scientists and engineers. They were not just tombs for the pharaohs, but a symbol of the kingdom's power, wealth, and technological advancement. Trade was another area where these kingdoms excelled. The wealth of Mansa Musa of Mali is legendary. His riches were so vast that during his pilgrimage to Mecca, he distributed gold so generously that it caused inflation in the regions he passed through. He established trade routes across the Sahara, connecting Africa to the Middle East and Europe, fostering cultural exchange and economic growth. In the realm of arts, 
The kingdoms created expressive and intricate sculptures, masks, and pottery, each piece a reflection of their rich culture and history. The Benin bronzes and the terracotta sculptures of the Nok culture are marvelous examples of African artistry. Science, too, was not left untouched by these kingdoms. They developed advanced systems of mathematics, astronomy, and medicine. The Ashango bone, one of the oldest mathematical objects was found in the region, demonstrating their understanding of arithmetic and numeration. And their governance? It was as advanced as any in the world. The Gada system of the Oromo people, for instance, was a complex form of democratic socio-political system, ensuring fair representation and justice. The golden age of these African kingdoms was not just golden in terms of wealth, but in knowledge, culture, and innovation. They were a beacon of human progress, their achievements a testament to their intelligence and creativity. Their influence extended far beyond their borders, leaving an indelible mark on the world. However, the sands of time wait for no kingdom, no matter how mighty. Just as the sun rises and sets, so too did these great African kingdoms. The wheel of history turned, and they found themselves facing challenges that eventually led to their decline. Internal conflicts began to chip away at the unity that once held these kingdoms together. Power struggles, succession disputes and civil unrest created cracks in the societal structure, weakening the kingdoms from within. Invasions also played a significant role in their downfall. Outsiders, lured by the wealth and prosperity of these African kingdoms, sought to conquer and claim them. As these kingdoms had to fend off invader after invader, their resources were stretched thin, their defenses weakened, and their people wearied. Trade disruptions too dealt a heavy blow. These kingdoms had thrived on vibrant trade networks, exchanging goods with distant lands, and amassing wealth. But as trade routes were disrupted due to conflicts, shifts in power or changing trade winds, the economic backbone of these kingdoms began to crumble. And then, there were the environmental changes, droughts and famines, floods and fires all brought on by shifts in the climate, took a heavy toll. Land that was once fertile turned barren, rivers that were once full ran dry, and the abundance of nature that these kingdoms had relied on started to dwindle. These factors, intertwined and interconnected, led to the downfall of these once mighty kingdoms. But it wasn't an overnight collapse, it was a slow, gradual decline, a fading away, like the setting sun disappearing below the horizon. Their fall marked the end of an era, but their legacy lives on. The echoes of these lost kingdoms still resonate in the heart of Africa. As we traverse this vibrant continent, the footprints of these ancient civilizations are visible in every aspect of contemporary African life. The legacy of these kingdoms is not confined to dusty tomes or hidden in archaeological digs, rather it is alive and pulsating in the cultures, languages, arts, and governance structures of modern Africa. They serve as a testament to a rich and diverse history that refuses to be forgotten. A history that continues to shape the continent and its people. Take the languages for instance. The linguistic diversity in Africa today is a direct result of these ancient kingdoms. From the Bantu languages of the south to the Afro-Asiatic tongues of the north, each dialect is a thread woven into the vibrant tapestry of African history. Then there's the art. The intricate bronze sculptures of the Benin Kingdom, the stone carvings of Great Zimbabwe, the terracotta figures of the Nok culture, these artistic traditions continue to inspire contemporary African artists who blend old techniques with new visions, keeping the spirit of these lost kingdoms alive. And let's not forget governance, the political structures of these kingdoms, from the centralized authority of the ancient Ghana Empire to the democratic assemblies of the Ashanti, have influenced the modern political landscape of Africa. They serve as a blueprint, a guide for nations striving to build a just and equitable society. But beyond their tangible influence, the stories of these kingdoms continue to inspire. They shape perceptions of African history, challenging the narrative of a continent devoid of civilization before the arrival of external influences. They remind us of a time when Africa was home to some of the world's most prosperous and advanced kingdoms. Indeed the kingdoms may have been lost but their stories remain forever etched in the annals of African history. They continue to whisper to us, reminding us of a rich and glorious past, and inspiring us to create a future that honors this legacy.